you getting lucky, punk, El Fanning and Alex Sharp star in How to Talk to Girls at Parties, a sweet-natured romp through 1970s London, courtesy of A24, men are from From Mars, women are from Venus, a best-selling early 90s relationships guidebook argued. How to Talk to Girls at Parties, a sweet, slight comic fantasy expanded from an early aughts Neil Gaiman short story, knows the truth is far more complex, men and women are from Earth, members of an advanced extraterrestrial species on a reconnaissance mission here while temporarily wearing the bodies of men and women are from. Well, we never find out where they're from, exactly. But every planet has its misfits. How to Talk to Girls is set in the South London borough of Croydon, which matters a little, and in 1977, which matters a lot. The film was shot in Sheffield, perhaps because it looks more like late 70s Croydon than present-day Croydon does. Punk is in full, safety-pinned bloom. Adolescent cartoonist and Broadway veteran Alex Sharp publishes a fanzine, Virus, with his two mates, their regulars at a club, art space run by Queen Boudicca, the grande dame dowager of this small pond. The Queen is played with a not-quite maternal wariness by Nicole Kidman, punked out like Daryl Hannah in Blade Runner, which was of course made by a Brit right around the time punk was hitting its hard-coded termination date. Seeking another Grammy rock club party, the three boys find themselves instead pied piper towards a modernist war holly and exploding plastic inevitable type deal in a handsome old manor house. The music sounds more like craft work than the Sex Pistols or the Damned. Most of the revelers are performing an elaborate group dance, all are dressed in color-coded body-hugging latex. And swaggering pal Vic Abraham Lewis goes straight for Stella Ruth Wilson, the most sexually assertive girl at the dance. But being the more bashful, inquisitive sort, the kind who grow up to be writers, and ends up chatting with Zan L. Fanning, who's grown weary of the prime directive type regulations governing her exposure to Earthlings while she's here on Earth. Their meet-cute leaves Zan with a slightly flummoxed vocabulary, wherein the kinds of worldly experiences she seeks are collectively referred to as punk, that's roughly where Gaiman's story leaves it. But director John Cameron Mitchell, Hedwig in the Angry Inch, Short Bus and co-screenwriter Philippa Gosselin have tricked out the tale with a proper beginning and ending, and populated it with appealingly dimensional people and aliens. They've added Kidman's character, as well as the marvelous Joanna Scanlon as Anne's lonely single mom, who still, as she is moved to remind even her own ungrateful boy, has a clitoris. On the other side of the species divide, we have Tom Brooke as a sympathetic parent-teacher, trying to balance Zan's lust for freedom with the well-being of the collective. Do you have something you'd like to interjaculate? He asks her during one of their meetings. I'm aware as I write this how much it sounds like a hacky vignette from 1972's Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Sex Asterisk Asterisk But We're Afraid to Ask. But it plays more like the goofy flip side of Under the Skin, the chilly 2014 sci-fi film that starred Scarlett Johansson as a mysterious visitor luring willing Scottish men into her van. There's a warmth and inclusivity here that sets it apart from the sex comedies of the era in which it's set. How to Talk to Girls posits sex and relationships as matters to be explored and discovered, rather than won or mastered. A pair of brief, tacky animated sequences of, I think, microbes copulating would have been better left excised, and not just because these colorful life forms look an awful lot like the infinity gems that the Marvel villain Thanos sought with such militant completism. How to Talk to Girls premiered at the Cannes Film Festival a year ago, why it's only being released now is a mystery, we don't need these inserts of petri dish chemistry to buy that fanning and sharp resonate on the same wavelength. Fanning has this sort of doll-like appearance that keeps getting her cast as princesses and teen supermodels and hot extraterrestrials, but director Mitchell isn't interested in manic pixies. Here, Fanning's character is just a curious kid from another world, and the journey from innocence to experience depicted here is more hers than, than her boyfriend's. 
that alone is enough to make how to talk to girls at parties a refreshing tonic against blockbusteritis.